going around, but in okay. this really cool way to actually stay. Like, it doesn't mean much to me, obviously, but it's another step towards actually mapping totally the brain that it's now down to, well, yeah, all of this. And they've got yeah. 6,602 long distance brain connections, and they show how it all actually fits together. Because it's not just separating them all into little categories, it's actually saying how each of those categories work together. And it's really cool when you actually Sweet. delve deep into it, you actually see, like, you know, the, the higher consciousness or where we actually think it, you know, resides actually has the most connections going into it. Right. It's, yeah. Cool. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, reading through all this stuff, it, it, the PowerPoint side's really cool. It, the, the guy, very slow, but yeah, good, good to read through. Nice. To listen. So, anyway, we're getting there. We've nearly uh, mapped the brain, and we can use your. DNA factory to actually start printing it <laughs> and then we'll Print join it all together with the cookies and all of that into the machine and uh, it's going to be pretty crazy and then we'll get to other planets. There we go. Connect it all four. Yeah. Yeah. We'll feed you information, you'll process it, make it better, mm -hmm. put it back out, out there and... Yeah. yeah. And our brain will change into <laughs> Homo Superior. Cool. I heard that song. Singularity's are back! Yay! Yay! Um, well you read this first, you, you can talk about it. Okay. Well, this is talking about the singularity topic uh, for the week is because most people, when they think of the singularity, they think of just, you know, one idea. That this is the singularity, that's it. It's all roughly the same. Yep. The singularity train coming by. So in many external noises. Oh, <laughs> God, it's ridiculous. It's spooky, High 45. It's spooky. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, what we're actually going to do this week is to discuss that there's actually schools of thought within the singularity, and we're going to discuss the three major schools of thought within it. And uh, yeah, well, I'll just do a quick ca uh, quick explanation of the three, and then we can talk about. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Well, the first one is the uh, accelerating change idea, which is uh, pretty much the technological change for smooth curves. Smooth curves. It's uh, typically exponential. So you know, just an exponential curve the whole time. You can always say follow Moore's law to infinity, pretty much, which is with accelerating change. Yeah. The next one is the event horizon school of thought which is that we can't actually know what a superintelligence would do. We can't even hope to predict. We can't know what, say, Deep Blue, the chess yeah, computer would do. It's a different level. It's a different level. Yeah. And then there's the intelligence explosion, that what we'll do is we'll keep on producing uh, technological change up to a point, then we'll reach something, and then that'll be like a nuclear reaction of intelligence, that so we've hit the key, and then it's just intelligence everywhere. Instead of the exponential curve like that, then it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, so, just, it just explodes your graph. Yeah, pretty much. It explodes your graph. It's just it goes like that, and it's just straight up. You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Well, what, what do you think of all of it? Which one do you well, so find time, yourself most? That's why I realized, like, I all three will happen. But they're, no, they're, they're, they're different though. They're, they are different. You can't have all three. Well, so do you that, think the intelligence explosion will happen? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a good talk show. It is. Yes. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Next. No, I don't know. Um, wait. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think it will. I think it'll still have Probably it'll still happen at that exponential pace. Like, you can't just suddenly jump from 1 to 20 billion or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, some ridiculous number. It'll still be like, you know, it'll still be like uh, exponential, like, you know, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. It yeah. just will be at like, you know, a million... Two million, four yeah. million, like... Well, see, that's yeah, just saying the, the same accelerating change type thing, that actually just saying that... Yeah. You're saying you can actually predict how much it will follow going through. Yeah, but the... A little bit. But there's always not anomalies in that. Well, see, that's what I think. I, I'm actually... I don't mind the intelligence explosion type thing that, say, like, the invention of, say, language. And the invention oh, yeah, of all of that, that, that you do get this mm. one idea that it... Still, uh, what, what happens is that you, you go up to this point, you get language, and it's just massive. It does all this change. Then after it's gone there, then it does another exp exponential thing. I think what's about to happen with the singularity and with like AI, I, I, I like this intelligence explosion thing, is because you get up to this point, and then it explodes, and it's like this massive, crazy tech that happens. Then once that's settled, then you do the exponential going again. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's what Kurzweil's... That's his thing. It's the S curves mm. of the exponential growth. Yeah, like, yeah it's you not get it's the not a flexion point. Yeah, it's not a smooth curve. Obviously, you have paradigms. Tell you should have shut that door. <laughs> um, yeah, you have you have paradigms where it goes up and then it suddenly lulls out and then goes up again. Like mm. Moore's law is the, the fifth paradigm of computing. Like you have vacuum tubes and all that other crazy stuff mm. beforehand. Um, 
yeah, well, I guess you could say they're like all little confines of yeah. intelligence explosion stuff. But I guess what they, what it's talking about on the larger school, especially like with regards to what the singularity is, in the like you know the big grand thing that are like sure we have like you know vacuum tubes to transistors, but the progressions along the way were relatively small. Whereas that what people are actually thinking with the singularity, and a lot of great people are, are thinking that there's going to be a big explosion very shortly. And that could be, like, for the invention of writing, the invention of language. So, so I think there will, but it'll be an explosion that will still follow that exponential pattern. It's not just going to suddenly appear, like, in so a day. So you will? No, no, we'll say, I think it, it'll, it'll appear like, you know, I'd say probably we'll get to the point where one year it'll be like, oh my god, so, I mean, so much change has happened. Yeah. And then, you know, six months down the line, we're like, oh my god, so much change has happened. And then three months down the line, oh my god, so much change. And then, like, yeah. it's just, it'll happen. It, see, I guess it, the whole things taking off is just a subjective point of view. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess you could say like, yeah, well, yeah, processing power or something like that, you maybe you could measure it in. I mean, like at the moment, everything is going exponentially, but we don't perceive it to be exponential. Yeah, yeah, true. You know what I mean? So in the future, when it gets to that point where every day we're like doubling our progress. Yeah. I mean, will we still, will, you know, relatively, when we uh, view that, will we still see that as mm -hmm. a, a regular thing or we see that as but explosion. isn't that ex did, it's not going to be exponential like always the whole time like it's, it's eventually going to taper off and I mean isn't that so you think it, it can't be like I mean a, a singularity obviously can't happen forever but I mean like the, the big thing of the singularity is that we create a superhuman inter intelligence that's where you get to the event horizon school of thought saying that we yeah. can't even hope to predict after it and then there's different people trying to say that well you can roughly predict it that I mean you could actually measure the intelligence explosion type way as by you know actually saying that yeah we're getting to this massive burst of like you know ex amazing change every few hours but yeah would that eventually taper off maybe like the plank at the plank <laughs> at plank time well yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you're getting exponential growth but we'll see that time? yeah because it doesn't have to actually get to something and then actually peter out uh, well not peter out but actually get to a certain point maybe because you couldn't have you can't have exponential growth in to an in infinite degree because there is there are fundamental limits of the universe. True, in terms of raw computer computing power. Yeah. yeah. So with the intelligence explosion would be getting to that point right there, and then actually processing it through there, and yeah. then you keep on getting the accelerating change. So it is still like the curve going up like that, big explosion from the singularity, and then after you've got all the processing power, there, then the thing like that to make the rest of the the universe smart, maybe. Yeah. Could be. I don't know. So <laughs> you you, you uh, I I. I I just think it's going to go exponentially. I don't think there's going to be a, a sudden explosion, like the intelligence explosion. But you just said there was. No, well, again, it's all relative. Like we're already experiencing explosion. Yeah. It's double. If things are doubling every, like less than every year now. Yeah, but we'll say look at it from say like in a hundred year scale, like century long scale. That I mean, this would very much be right now. You, you're saying that we're actually in an intelligence explosion. Yeah, we've had the thought before that we're already in this thing already. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's just, my personal opinion. I think we are in a singularity, yeah. Because, I mean, what is a singularity? Like, like uh, you know, theoretically, the singularity is a single point yeah. where it's the event horizon. It's a single point where everything just goes boom. Right, well, see, that, that's it. I guess it comes down to what is the singularity. This is what the, the three schools of thought are about, is, like, what is a singularity? Because no one yeah. can, you know, specifically def uh, define it. And, um, yeah, well, that's what... I but the thing is, all these three thoughts, it's the same concept. It's just different relativistic views. Hmm. We're saying in yeah, what way they do it together. I think the intelligence explosions, no, a part of change. I, I see. I'm I'm not sure about this. Like I, I must admit that I, I don't think it's going to be a smooth curve going like this. I think it is like very bumpy. Like you know the Kurzweil's view and all of that. That you've got yeah. you know the five pattern, all the different patterns and all of that. But what what's happening? I think we're actually at this point at the moment where intelligence is expanding just crazy fast, and then we're going to actually reach a point. Yeah. And then it's just going to be the same. But I guess the event horizon thing is mm. they think it's silly even to try and predict what's happening. But you can never predict everything. No. That's the whole point of the computational irreducibility. So yeah, yeah. Like with a, even with enough data, you can't predict it. No. It's always like the tiniest, not the butterfly effect. Yeah. Like chaos theory and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. For example, like when we actually connect the brains to the neural level, that's going to be an incredible jump. Right. That would be like an intelligent explosion because suddenly, 
um, we're not limited by pushing air out of our mouths to get information. I don't even think that will be. I don't think that'll be a big intelligence explosion because we're already like kind of similarly doing it now. It won't be like all the neurons at once. It would just be slowly going there. Yeah, it'll be a few neurons. Well. Yeah, I think the, the intelligence yeah. explosion is only going to be when we actually create a superior intelligence or there that like say actual machines doing it. Like the hive mind, I think is always going to continue up, but until we get the pure AI, maybe. Yeah. Well, so that's, again, that's the issue with the singularity. Everyone always, the way it's kind of explained, it, it's it's always put forward as you know, there's going to be this point in the future where it's just boom, like AI is back. Yeah. Boom, everything's like boom. Yeah. But it, 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 that's why I like the accelerating change thing because it's it's, it's happening incredibly, incredibly fast, but very incrementally. Yeah. It's like yeah. you know, next year our computers will be doubled. Like uh, whatever that. In terms of time, that doesn't really, we don't see that I think as a big thing. Best explanation of the singularity is yeah. the accelerating change. That sure, you may have so. these big jumps, is what they're saying, like the intelligence explosion. And yeah. a, like you may not be able to predict what's happening a la the event horizon, but yeah. roughly speaking, it is a it is a curve going up the same yeah. way. Yeah, this says you can predict it with fair precision, but I don't think you can. No, no, I don't think so. Either. You can have a rough estimate of where the exponential Well, it, you be. can at least predict like processing power roughly, but even that doesn't mean yeah. much. And then, I mean, you've got the the final thing here, which is the apocatilism, yeah. which is uh, pretty much rapture for the nerds. A lovely quote here. Hey man, have you heard? There's this bunch of like, you know, crazy nerds out there who think there is some kind of unspecified huge nerd thing that's going to happen. Or a bunch of wackos. It's geek religion, man. <laughs> totally. We'll see how many times have you heard that. No, I ever, it's if rapture you, for the nerds. Yeah. There's a lot of things out there, but it, it's you know. really not a bad sort of negative stereotype, I guess. Well, it's the best negative stereotype that that, yeah. that <laughs> exists at the moment. So, you know, if you want the rebelling against the singularity if you want to say something negative about it that's what yeah. you'd go to yeah, well, so this concept around. has got so much um, so much support from so many high high leading like mm. high what's the term <laughs> you know ranking I don't know ranking yeah. <laughs> high yeah. end sort of technological entrepreneurs and, yeah. and, and people who are actually in the field like you've got you know like Larry Page Sergey Brin yeah you, you, you get a lot of big everyone, people yeah well, I don't think it really needs to be de defended at all. I mean, I mean, if that's the best yeah. attack that, that's there, it, it's not really an attack at all. It's kind of, yeah, I, I, I kind of... I mean, we are talking about the future. It's like, the whole thing is anything could happen, but it's just really interesting to talk about it because human. the whole point of humans is we don't do anything unless we come up with futuristic ideas. We, yeah. we invent the future first in our brains and then make it happen. Oh, well, there are a <laughs> few rough things you can actually predict that like you can say that this trend's been happening for the past while, we can't see why this trend won't continue to keep on happening. And I mean, that, I guess that's the thing from the accelerating change that when you look on it from a time back and you actually remove time from it, you can say that, wow, a lot of massive changes have happened in the past while and it's only getting yeah. more and more. And so, I mean, it's just extrapolating that further and further, really. Yeah. We tend to, you know, we, evolutionarily, we think linearly. linearly. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hard word to say. Linearly. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas technology... And information is exponential. exponential. Yeah. That's, I mean, I guess that's the core of the singularity, isn't it? Yeah. That's the core phrase. Yeah. So. Sweet. I think we'll end it there. I think we've probably gone over time, but anyway. That's all good. Sweet. Sweet. Well, this has been a pretty important episode of Spooky Vision High 45. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, hopefully we don't have, like, you know, wind force sort of gales next week. You saw the ghost versions of both of us lit up by our computer screens. We do look magical better. sight. Yeah, I think so too, actually. I need to be more pale. Just <laughs> keep on getting told that. Cool. Yeah. Catch you guys next week. Uh, what's your name? Uh, your name? Shit. I'm Nathan Waters. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing on your windows. He's snatching your people up. Trying to rape them. So yeah, he's a hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. 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 Looking for you, we gon' find you, we gon' find you